What's up guys, it's your boy Brando aka Miracle for another deck profile for you guys today. It's been a minute, you know, COVID hit, uh, I got a little bit of the COVID, but now I'm back and ready to go again. Uh, let's do a little bit of a deck profile for you guys today. I chose to show you my Goki deck, it's fully completed. Um, making the climb to platinum this season with it, I'm so far, I'm about to hit platinum, I think I'm like gold too. But let's get right into the deck profile, we'll go card by card. Starting off strong with Goki Asta Stretch. Pretty much just another Goki. You're gonna all the Gokis have the same ability. When they're destroyed, they get to search. And this one is just another level one Goki that you can get the search off. Goki Guts is very good because it can't be destroyed by battle. And pretty much all of the Gokis have the same effect. This card is very good because you can switch it out to special summon a Goki. And it's special summon uh if you control a warrior. Which is pretty nice and you can tribute it to special summon a warrior from your hand. Goki Headbat's part of the combo. You're going to want to summon Goki Headbat. Sending a Goki you, you haven't used before. That you can use with Goki uh, Rematch. Goki Iron Claw is the same thing as Goki Asa Stretch. Pretty good card to have. Um, It has the good effect of Gokis. So you want it on the field. Uh, Quoki Twist Cover is level 3, which you always going to want. You're going to want every level, because Goki Rematch and every Goki effect has to do with level. And uh, its second effect, where you can tribute it, pretty much gets it a free search. Next up is Goki Suprex, the main card in this deck. You normal summon it using your normal summon off your links and your normal summon, if possible, to special summon a Goki, and it's not once per turn. You can only get the only effect is once per turn is the search. We run one code breaker zero day to get off our code breaker uh, combo. Uh, we run super quantum redware. Uh, it's just a good card to have in the deck. It's not necessary, but I do like it. It it gets you a monster when you don't have one. Um, next up is um, Goki Re Scorpio. It's a level five twenty three hundred and no tribute. It's pretty nice. Um, just normal staples monster reborn and regeki. Pretty simple. Um, Rhoda, you always have to run into a warrior deck. We run one draw card, we run pot of, or we run three, but pot of avarice because Gokis get in the graveyard super easily. Next up, we got is one for one. Um, basically, one for one. Gonna turn up the music a little bit. One for one is just a, such a good card because you can tribute any like you get this go this card and you want a goki you need a goki you can tribute it off and pull off one of these three um next up is trans modify that's why you want to run different levels this card was made for machines but it is so good in the goki builds because if you draw into twist cobra you tribute it off you can get surplex you get suplex you want to go into re scorpio you can pretty much one two three four five any card can be summoned to another Goki Rematch, one of the greatest cards I've seen in the game. You can special summon two Gokis with different levels in defense mode. It's super simple to get them out. Um, pretty much this card, every time you're going for the combo, you're going to get him. Um, Lightning Storm, um, just another staple. Pot of Prosperity, because there's a lot of these. You're only going to use pretty much two or three um, secret or links. So this card, if you need cards, you can go for the three or you can go for the six. It's really up to you. Imperm, don't really need to explain that. It's just an awesome card to have. Um, we're gonna go into Lynx. Um, that's my cat. That's Ellie. But uh, Lynx, uh, Cerberus and uh, Phoenix are very good. Uh, these are, I would say, the first two Lynx are really up to you. They just are normal Lynx staples. And uh, Goki Heal Ogre is the main card of this deck because. Any time you're going to summon, you're going to pretty much go for two. You go for two, and then you special summon. You get two searches off. Then you go into... This guy is later on in the combo. I'll come back to him. But the next card in the combo is Thunder Ogre. Because once you get three, you pretty much try to set up your hand using the searches to get suplex into your, your second part of the combo. So you can summon as much monsters as you can. And once you get the four monsters out, you go into one of our rank fours, preferably Goki the Power Load Ogre. He's one of the best. Next up is we are our generic Nightmare Unicorn. It's pretty good in this deck because you usually, if you get this super further into the combo, you can see in tomorrow's video, 
you get the draw most of the time. Um, Virus Berserker is awesome spell and trap remover. Plus, him, he special summons three as soon as you summon him, right? And it's super awesome. Next up we have is Borisaur Dragon. Um, insane card to have. And I... Any rank fours, any link fours are good, but this one is the one I like to use. I usually go into access talker. I go one Goki the power load and one access talker. Just an insane combo. Cross. To show you uh, just some uh, sample hands. So this is a good. This isn't a very good starting hand, but see, this is very good because you uh, Goki trans modify. Um, you get to Goki gut or you get to one of the level twos. Then you pot of prosperity, you search for three, you hope you get a good card, then you go on further. These are just some example hands where you can do combos with. This is a decent hand. Usually most of my hands are starting off with Goki Suprex and Goki one of the other Gokis. But the hands are pretty consistent. Um I'm gonna cut to some footage of the deck in action for you. Or actually, no, I'm gonna continue to I wanna explain the combos. So let's go draw five samples so this is your first hand um you one for one you're gonna ditch the the super quantum red layer to pull out one of the you're probably gonna pull out goki guts then you're gonna use his head bats ability to ditch stretch and that's when you're gonna have two gokis you link into heal ogre next thing you do is you're gonna search you're gonna pick up two you're gonna pick up goki match and suplex you're gonna have you're gonna activate goki match you're gonna search for the, the octo stretch we ditched plus uh one of the other ones we used so we get one more search you're gonna link off you're gonna get um you're gonna go into thunder ogre then you're gonna normal summon suplex with probably twisted cobra and then you're gonna go you're gonna have two mo you're gonna have uh in total a link total of six so you're going to be able to pull off a link two and a link four. You're going to go into link four. You're going to go into Goki, the power load ogre. And then you're going to use Goki, the power loads, uh, co-link zones. And you're going to summon a uh, code breaker swordsman. Code breaker is going to pull out zero day out of the deck. You're going to go into virus berserker. Then you go into, uh, you summon, you put him in the middle zone. So you get two summons from him. Then you go into um, access code talker and you leave the breaker sword and your uh, access is going to be able to have at least two pops plus if you need to um, uh, power load or ogre contribute itself for four pops so either way if there's something in your way you're going to get an insane amount of damage and you're going to get an insane amount of attack power um uh, some of the alternate cards I keep in here, Nightmare Unicorn, is come time, you will get enough summons on the board where you have extra summons after the combo, which is insane to me. That doesn't usually happen for my decks. So, Nightmare Unicorn summon, you can discard, you can send something, and you get a draw. I won't complain about that. I run two of each just in case we need... You can easily do this combo twice in one duel because we run two Goki matches. Um, if anything was going to change in this deck, I would probably put this up to three Goki match and get rid of an Imperm. Um, and what else would I get rid of? Um, and that's about it. Super Red Layer is a decent card. I thought it would be better in this deck, but it, it's just decent. If you draw into it first turn, it's very nice, but if you don't, it's not a big deal. Um... There's other spell and trap removers you can use. Let me just go into my... Yeah. Let me just go here. Um, uh, that was showing, that's showing you decks I'm working on. You, got, you can put some Twin Twisters, Skill Drain. Any of these could work very nicely in that deck. Um, rivalry. Is very good if you don't go one of these cards are very good if you don't go into access talker and you go into two power loads you could easily run traps like that but uh yeah boys that is the deck profile for you guys if 
you have any questions leave it down leave a comment down below i'll answer it right away um uh right uh be ready on tuesday for the video of the gameplay and everything and there'll be a live stream of this deck later today so thank you guys for coming and watching the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe peace